Oh! Oh! That shrimp is done. Oh my goodness. Look at her climb. Oh! Oh, look at that hump. Oh my goodness. He's growing up. Ooh. Get out of that shrimp bugger, boy. You ain't need no po' boy shrimp. Come on, get out of here. He's so big. Look how massive this thing is. I can't believe I got a black mama this big in the collection. We actually have some stuck shit on the tip of that fur lance tail. That's okay. Joby, the big bull rescue gator. Look at him, he's looking good. He's just catching some rays right now, soaking up the sun. Ooh, we're not messing with him at all. We're not even in, in the enclosure. We're just looking at him from the outside, showing you guys how he's doing. He's got some weight on him. He's becoming a beast. And before you know it, we're gonna have him in a massive pond so he can get bigger and bigger and achieve 13 plus feet long. Ooh. You're okay, buddy. What a beast of an alligator. That is so wild. What do you think of mayo? Pretty cool, huh? So I've got around like 200 and something shrimp fresh from the bait shop, ready to go. No, not for you, not for you, silly. And uh, we're gonna feed out all the little shrimp to the crocs. I got some big shrimp for Nadia, the Siamese crocs, so she can get some enrichment and hunt around for them. <laughs> oh, he's happy, he wants some enrichment too. You ready, let's go feed him, come on, come on. You're so funny. No, you can't come in here. You're too curious. You're gonna end up getting your face bit by a croc. So we got Guapo right here. He's ready to go. Guapo, Guapo. We wanna give him some enrichment so he can hunt around. So we'll put a couple live ones in here so he can just go around, shoot around for them, try to catch them. Oh, oh, he got it. There we go, perfect. That's great nutrients for the Cuban crocodile. Protein and the shells, lots of calcium. And that's exactly what they're going to be getting out in the mangrove swamps. There we go. Ooh, perfect. That's really good for a growing crocodile. Shrimp are a great source of protein and shell and whatnot. Calcium, everything they need to grow properly and produce lots of teeth. We got Layla, the American croc in here. And shrimp and fish are mainly what American crocs are going to be eating out in the wild. There she is. Layla. Layla. We're just going to throw a bunch of shrimp in here. Just a big old handful. Oops. There we go. We'll see if she comes out for that. You got another one. Ooh, you're going to be fat and happy by the end of the day. There we go. Have some taka. Ooh, there we go. Good job, Bobby. You got a whole mouthful. Ooh, look at Guapo. Ooh, he's excited. That's a beautiful Cuban crocodile. He's a gnarly dude. All right, these guys will have shrimp nice and locked up, nice and secure. Were you just in the shrimp bucket? Get out of that shrimp bucket, boy. You ain't eating no po' boy shrimp. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here, boy. Boy, you causing trouble trying to eat my shrimp, po' boy. You're crazy, Kameo. Oh, don't kick me. Camels are so cool. I hope you guys are falling in love with camels seeing him on this channel because they're so loving. They listen kind of like a dog, too, or even better than a dog, and they're definitely more loving than a horse. Right? Kameo. Right? You're more loving than a... Ah, what would I tell you about going to that shrimp bucket, boy? No, you can't come in here. You're going to get bit in the face, dude. All right, so we got Bridget the Broad Snout. Ooh, she wants food. Oh, she cr so crazy. Bridget actually bit me uh, two months after my big croc bite, and she split my thumb open pretty wide. So she's definitely got the jaw force to put a hurting on you. Let's just give her a bunch of shrimp to hunt. There's also a smooth front came in here as well. Ooh, she's already destroying them. She is such a beast. I love brats now, Cayman. More shrimp so they can hunt. There's dead ones too, so they won't have an issue getting food. Ooh. You can't have any shrimp. How many times do I have to tell you you can't even eat any shrimp, boy? There we go. That's a good looking shrimp right there. Good calcium from the shell and the meat real good too. And the eyeballs taste good too. So it'll be real smooth and gentle like. Oh, just jeez. Now put that on a cracker. Woohoo, you are quite the crocodile. All right, well, you missed that one. So let me just grab a bunch of these shrimp and let her go at it. Ooh. Ooh, she's loving her shrimp. Silly boy. Silly boy. I love him. Look at that hump. Look at that hump. Hey, get out of that monkey boy. Get out my shrimp. What are you doing? You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, no. He's happy. He's happy. Hey, watch out, bro. First, you want to drink out of the bucket. Then you want to beat the bucket up. Hey, get out of there. Don't give me on that shrimp, boy. Let's give some shrimp to Mr. Bakes, the Utila Island Iguana. Want some of this shrimp? These guys love to eat crabs out in the wild, so shrimp is just as good. 
They're also known as swampery iguanas because they'll be found out in the mangrove swamps and whatnot, chasing down crabs, living amongst the salt marsh. So these guys love crustacean. I just put a couple in his box, one on top, so he can keep munching away. That's a happy iguana. Critically endangered from the Utila Island. What are you doing, Kameo? Come over here. Big boy. Oh, don't kick my truck, you crazy camel. So check this out, guys. We've got all these big shrimp, jumbo shrimp, and then we got the last of the little shrimp. We're gonna dump the little shrimp into this bucket, and then we're gonna take all this leftover shrimp. Oh, Kameo! Dude, you're killing me. Did you really just kick the damn shrimp? <laughs> Bro, what? Hey, now with the bucket, get, get out of here, bad camel. Bad camel, damn. So you see how big these shrimp are? I bought these for Nadia, the big Siamese croc, so she can she can have some enrichment and chase. Hey, can you not eat my hair while I'm trying to grab the shrimp that you spilled? These poor shrimp. They're already gonna get eaten by a crocodile, and now they have to, hey, can you stop eating my hair? Boy, crazy. Would have thought I'd be grabbing shrimp by a camel's foot one day. All right, we're almost done, we're almost done. Just a couple more shrimp. Don't kick the bucket. Please don't kick the bucket. Thank you. Move, move your head. You don't eat shrimp, you eat grass. Ooh, that's a beautiful croc. Critically endangered Siamese croc found throughout Southeast Asia. Oh my goodness, look at her climb. Ooh, hoo, hoo. these shrimp are way too small for Miss Toothy and Aries. Oh, no food, no food. They think I'm feeding them because they see the bucket, but they don't realize how small this food is actually. You know what, let's just take two of the biggest shrimp. Let's see what happens. Oh, you gonna bite this? There we go. Oh, you almost had it. We gotta get it right into his mouth. Come on, eat the shrimp. Eat the shrimp. There you go, right into the mouth. You gonna eat it? I don't even think he knows he has it in his mouth. Oh, come on, Kameo, just give me two seconds. All right, let's see what we can do. Give Miss Toothy the shrimp. You want that shrimp? Oh. Oh, she ate it. Oh, oh, the shrimp's in his mouth right now. It's kicking around. Dude, are you gonna eat it? Are you just gonna hold it in there? Oh my God, that is so funny. I'm hand feeding them big shrimp right now. We get, oh, look at this monster shrimp. Oh, oh, oh. You want this, Nadia? Ooh, like a dinosaur. Ooh, she's happy. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. That shrimp is done. Oh, it's still moving around in her mouth. Can you hear it moving around in her mouth? Oh my God. All right, it's gone now. She just swallowed it. There you go, big shrimp. <laughs> you don't want it? Oh, all right, he's just gonna go in the water and slurp it down with some H2O and make it easier. All right, one more try with the big shrimp. There we go. Nice little meal for Miss Toothy. Sheesh, look at those teeth. I still can't believe that got my leg. I'm a lucky man. All right, now this is the challenge. Trying to get into Nadia's enclosure because she is very rambunctious for food. So we're gonna have to use the bucket to protect ourselves. No, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. There we go. Come on, come on. Oi, there we go. Into the water, good to go. Relax, nice and even. No, ooh, you naughty crocodile, you get back in the water. All right, we're just gonna dump all the shrimp right here and she can hunt all day long, have a big old feast. There you go, that's all for you, baby. No, 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 you, you behave. She feels the need to chase me out of the enclosure. Isn't that right, Nadia? Ooh, cranky girl, oi, you get back in there. Oh, look at that hump. Oh my goodness, he's finally grown up. He's grown up. Ooh, my little cameo. Humphrey, I love you so much. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Nobody, nobody. All right, you ready? Let's go back to your pen. Let's go back to your pen. Come on. Oh, brother. I got to tell you what. Today is going to be a, a snake tacular. We're gonna be cleaning not just my snakes, but we're gonna be cleaning Tyler Nolan's snakes because he's too busy taking care of his baby and his new puppy and his new life in Loxahatchee, Florida. <laughs> well, too bad. I'm gonna clean this snake poop in my snout, brother. So we're gonna be cleaning these beautiful hybrid rattlesnakes. These snakes are canebrake rattlesnakes mixed with the Eastern Dimeback rattlesnake, which is the world's biggest rattler. I'm gonna take out the female first because we're gonna put her inside the snake hole receptacle. 
and uh, she's in the back right over here. It's got to be real smooth. I got to be real careful. Phew! Because they have a feeding response in the enclosure, and that means they're going to think I'm food and bite me by accident. So once they realize there's no food, I can go in and start handling them. Look at this. This is a big, beautiful female. Her name's Robin. She's looking really good. She was actually bitten on the face and had some swelling, and now that's all gone away. She's looking great. That's a good looking rattlesnake. Now, the cocktail between an Eastern Diamondback and a Canebrake is really potent. You would not want to take a bite from a snake like this. It would literally rot you from the inside out. And depending on where the snake is found, they can have lots of neurotoxic venom. That's venom that shuts down your nervous system, keeps you from breathing. Now this guy, he's a bit friendlier, but you can't trust him, he's still a rattlesnake. This is a big boy named Batman. And if you guys remember, we actually swam with Batman when I first moved here, because he's actually considered a native snake. Because the Eastern Diamondback and the Canebrake Rattlesnake are both found in Florida, you can legally bring them outside if you have the permit. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. He's so big. Look how massive this snake is. And he used to be fat. He used to be obese. And he was put on a diet. He's looking really good now. Look how fat this rattlesnake is next to my head. That is insane. You gotta love rattlesnakes, especially when they're chill like this. I can take the liberty of playing with this rattle and show them off to you guys. So I'm gonna put him right here so you guys can see how big he is. And I'm gonna take out this shed skin. Woo, take out some big poops. That's a lot of skin right there. Look at that. Look how big his tail is just alone. Look at the scales. He's like a king cobra, how big his belly is. I'm gonna throw this away. There we go. Looks like we don't have any poop. Make sure the water's good. They need some more water, so we'll get them that fresh H2O. We only get the best raw snakes. We don't use that well water. We don't use that city water with that chlorophyll or whatever you call it. We use that spring water, baby. Straight from the spring. Mm. Put that right in there. And uh, just gotta be careful about the third rattlesnake so he doesn't bite me. <laughs> just kidding, there's only two. I'm just messing with you kids. All right, well, oh, that's plenty of water. Whew. Whew, that's a little too much water, a little too much H2O. All right, ah, sorry, I was just running around with my camel outside. That's why I'm hot and sweaty. Let's see, come here, big boy. He looks great. He's actually the one that just shed. That's why his colors just look magnificent. Look at that. What a cool, cool snake. Uh, these snakes were actually offered to me about two, three years ago, and I was saving up for my house and I couldn't afford them. And then they were offered to Tyler, and Tyler snagged them up. So it worked out in the end. We all get to enjoy these animals. That's the cool thing about looking down in here. You know most of the people that are in the biz. And I want to be careful with her, because out of the two, this is the one I wouldn't trust. Look at that. Beautiful. Hybrid rattlesnake, looking good, looking sexy. There you go, right back with your boyfriend. Right in there. There you go. There you go. So we're gonna close that up. Put a lock on that sucker right there, just a quick little locking mechanism. You know, it's nice and secure. Let me just uh, wet my sweat. And we're going to be cleaning Tarsio Pelo, the fertilizer most responsible for bites in Central and South America. Bothrops Asper. Ooh, sends a chill down my spine. Okay, tranquil, calm, cool, and collected. Before dealing with a venomous snake, you must not be scared. You must understand the animal. Obviously, this is not something for a rookie to do. This is something I've been doing my whole life, so never mimic anything you see me do on this channel. I take danger into my own hands, quite literally, and I understand the circumstances, and I've worked really hard to get the permits to own these animals. None of these animals are personal pets. All these animals are for educational use, and also to breed for anti-venom research, and anti-venom, or anti-venin. Ooh, look at that. We actually have some stuck shed on the tip of that fertilance tail. That's not good. Ooh, you see that little stuck shed? We gotta get that off. How the heck am I gonna get that off without getting tagged by this guy? Yikes, not a long enough hook. I'm gonna put them right in there, and what we'll do is we'll soak them a little bit. I'll give him some water, I'll spray him. Let's see how he's shaking his tail. So even though he's not a rattlesnake, a lot of snakes will shake their tail to rattle the leaves around them, and this will make the animal think it's a rattler, making all that sound as a warning. This is not a snake you wanna get bit by. It's venom will literally eat your flesh away like battery acid. I'm not really sure if that's what battery acid does, but acid, you know what I mean. Hopefully this will help with the skin coming off. 
because this is nothing like a cobra. I cannot handle this animal like I would a cobra. There we go. And then if you look, this is the rest of the shed. Whew. Big long shed, looking good. Let me just close this up because he's gonna start coming out. They do climb, but good thing we have this snake holding receptacle just for snakes. All right, after that, I'm gonna use my long hook. Let's see what this animal's doing. It looked like he was crawling towards the top. No, he's actually still at the bottom. He's getting some water. So you see this stuck shed right here at the tip of the tail. That's no bueno. I need to get myself a tubing kit. You put the snakes into a tube and that prevents them from turning around. You're able to medicate and do whatever you need to do. Or I can just do it like that. Boom, skin's gone. Come here. You're climbing, bro, you're climbing. Look at that. Ooh. I love Tarsio Pella. I love them so much because I used to catch them all the time in Costa Rica. I've been out there like five, six times and the locality that I was finding looked just like this. That is such a cool snake. By locality, I just mean the area where these guys are found. They have different color to adapt. And they're unique to the area they come from. He's got a beautiful pink coloration on the sides of his body. That's where they get that name, Tarsio Pella. Means like velvet coloration. You gonna go in there? There we go, nice and easy. And he's getting big. If you guys are fans of the channel, you know that we got him when he was like a tiny little noodle when we we're still at the Everglades outpost. Ooh, gotta be real careful. I literally had this guy shoot out like three and a half feet and then hook his tail onto the cage so he doesn't fall out. He's a nudge little snake. And locked and secure. Just unlocked Alice in the Black Mamba. She's all stretched out. She's about a nine, 10 foot long. Tames and eaten. Black Mamba. A very respectable snake. I want to be nice and calm when I handle her. If I am disrespectful to her, if I'm too aggressive with her, when I handle her, her oops, sorry, her demeanor changes completely. She becomes a cranky, cranky snake. Look at that beautiful, big black mamba. How crazy is that? I can't believe I got a black mamba this big in the collection. It's just so cool, but also really dangerous. So let's show her where she wants to go. Hide away right inside that cage. That's how we try to make it as safe as possible when handling her, because big black mambas, they do not go into a snake holding receptacle too well. They rather shoot out and nearly clippy in the air. So you give them a nice dark place to hide and they go right into it. Come on, right into there. I see you, I see your face. Get that tail in there, tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Look at her right there. How crazy is that big black mamba? Come on. There we go. A little bit of poop in here. Gotta get some fresh water. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we got a nice clean enclosure. I'm just gonna pull her out real quick. Make this a nice smooth transition. Hopefully she doesn't have any malice towards me. Come on. Nice and easy. There we go. Ooh, okay. There we go. Woo! She is a beast of a black mama. Look how big she is. Is this snake not an impressive animal? Look at that. Look at that snake. Beautiful big black mama. We're gonna try to redirect her right into the enclosure. Nice and easy. Ooh. I wouldn't do that with many other snakes when it comes to black mambas. She's just got a really good personality and I can get away with a lot more. But it's still a black mamba. And if you got bit, they could kill you in 15, 30 minutes, depending on where you get bit. If you got bit intravenous into a vein or an artery, the venom travels way faster and can kill you way quicker. Woo! All right, my beautiful people. I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams. Stay passionate about what you love. If there's something you really want to do in life, just go for it. Put all your effort into it. Put all your love into it, and everything will fall into place. I love working with reptiles. I love creating a wildlife park from scratch. It might be stressful sometimes. There's ups and downs, but this is what I love to do. This is the best thing in the world. It feeds the soul. Do what you love, and everything will fall into place. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Home. Oh my goodness. All right, these guys will have shrimp nice and locked up, nice and secure. Were you just in the shrimp bucket? Hey, get out of that shrimp bucket, boy. You ain't eating no po' black shrimp. Come on, get out of here.